Shanley Pump and Equipment. Andor. The PBU turbine pump from ADUR is specifically designed for creating microbubbles of air for use in dissolved air flotation or DAF applications. ADUR dissolved air flotation or DAF technology successfully incorporates multi-phase pumping with high-speed turbine enrichment of water and air creating microbubbles for use in applications for removal of solids, oils, or grease from municipal and industrial wastewater streams. All ADUR PBU pumps and spare parts are available for immediate shipment from Shanley Pump and Equipment. The following video demonstrates the standard maintenance procedures for the ADOR PBU series of DAF pumps. This is an instructional disassembly and assembly video for the ADOR PBU series dissolved air flotation pump. This video is for pump sizes 201, 251, and 321. Before starting the disassembly of your ADOR PBU pump, if you have any questions, we recommend that you contact a Shanley Pump sales engineer for an immediate response. If the pump has been in service, we recommend that you have flushed and drained the pump of all pump mediums and have a steady workbench on which to work. Tools required for the ADOR PBU dissolved flotation pump, a hammer, small snap ring pliers, two flathead screwdrivers, Lubricant, pliers, and cutting pliers. The wrench sizes needed will vary depending on your pump model. ADOR PBU disassembly. Set the pump on a workbench vertically with the motor on the bottom and the pump foot facing you. Remove the six bolts and washers with an appropriately sized Allen wrench. Remove the pump casing cover from the casing, tapping gently with a hammer if it remains stuck. Remove the pump casing cover O-ring from the cover. Loosen and remove the four casing bolts and washers using an appropriately sized wrench. If needed, you can use two bolts and install them into the threaded holes on the impeller and use them to lift the impeller up and off the pump shaft and out of the pump casing. Depending on your pump size, these bolts will either be pump cover or pump casing bolts. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, remove the key from the keyway. Use a pair of small snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring from the shaft using two flathead screwdrivers to act as wedges if necessary, lift the casing off of the motor flange. As the pump is removed, the mechanical seal will also pull off of the pump shaft. If your pump has a shaft guard, you can now remove it from the motor. The rotary face of the seal is now loose and can be set aside. The stationary face of the mechanical seal can now be removed from the pump casing with a flat bladed screwdriver. In most cases, the mechanical seal and o-ring may need replacement, but please be sure to check all parts for wear and replace if required. The ADOR PBU dissolved air flotation pump is now completely disassembled. ADOR PBU assembly. Place the motor on a workbench vertically with the pump foot facing you. If your pump uses a shaft guard, place it on top of the motor with the drain facing the bottom of the pump. Place washers on pump casing bolts to prepare them for installation. Mount the casing onto the motor in the correct orientation, lining up the four casing bolt holes with the threaded motor holes. Install four casing bolts and washers and tighten with an appropriately sized wrench.
lubricate the drive shaft and stationary face of the mechanical seal. Carefully install the stationary face of the mechanical seal in the correct orientation around the drive shaft and into the bottom of the pump casing. Lubricate the rotating half of the mechanical seal and install it onto the drive shaft with the seal facing down and the spring on top. Add the keeper on top of the mechanical seal. Using a pair of small snap ring pliers, add a snap ring onto the shaft. If required, use an adapter to slide the snap ring down and into the groove of the shaft, compressing the mechanical seal spring to the designated tension. Position the impeller key into the keyway. Use a large pair of pliers to help seat the key into the keyway, being careful not to damage the shaft or key. Add the impeller in the correct orientation onto the drive shaft. Make sure to line up the key with the guide in the center of the impeller. Install the O-ring onto the underside of the cover. Add lubrication to the O-ring. Add the pump casing cover to the casing in the correct orientation, making sure the O-ring stays in place. Take care not to damage the O-ring during assembly. Place washers on the cover bolts to prepare them for installation. Affix the cover by installing six cover bolts and washers in a star pattern. Tighten using an appropriately sized Allen wrench. Your pump is now completely assembled and should be leak tested using water to check the seal for leakage from the mechanical seal or casing cover o-ring before being reinstalled and put into service. If no leaks are present, the pump can now be reinstalled into the pump system. If you have any questions about or require a spare parts kit for the repair of your ADOR PBU dissolved air flotation pump, please feel free to contact us for an immediate response at www.shanleypump.com or call 847-439-9200. We always have complete pumps and all spare parts in our inventory ready to ship the same day.